Hi, my name is Rich McHugh and I'm going to be your instructor this semester. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I grew up here in Victoria, BC. I went to Brayfoot Elementary School, Cedar Hill Junior High uh, back in the day, as well as Mount Doug High School. And I got my undergraduate degree after uh, about a two year break where I lived in Brazil. I got my undergraduate degree at the University of Victoria, uh, Bachelor of Commerce degree. After that, I worked for a manufacturing company in Calgary as a systems administrator and and then moved on to a dot-com company in Calgary uh, as a, a systems administrator and operations manager and then came to the University of Victoria after that uh, and worked as a systems administrator at the uh, Faculty of, of Law and Law Library. Uh, after that, I got a master's degree in education, focusing on educational technology, and now manage the Digital Scholarship Commons in the library, and I'm a sessional instructor in the Faculty of Education. And in the library, I teach and have developed curriculum for digital fluency and uh, teach a lot of workshops, both in the library and uh, as, a, as a guest instructor for a wide range of classes across campus. Uh, we've also homeschooled uh, some of our children off and on. I'm the father of five children. All of them are past K to 12 now, but uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that throughout the course of the semester. In terms of other things it might be interesting to know about me, I'll tell you a little story about when I was uh, started kindergarten at Brayfoot Elementary School. Uh, I'm the fifth of seven children in my family. And it was a little bit traumatic for me going to uh, going to kindergarten because I hadn't done any preschool, had just done things around the house. And in my first day of classes, I guess I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, so in the morning when, and I don't know if they still do this or not in, in kindergarten, but they filed us all in the bathroom mid-morning to go to the bathroom. I thought, you know, this is my chance to escape. So we all went into the bathroom. I went to, into a stall, closed the seat, and then stood on the stall so no one could see me in there. And after everyone left, I snuck out the side door of the school and then made my way home. And I must have known that it, uh, I shouldn't be doing that because I then hid under my bed. Uh, I'm sure the teacher was freaking out when she realized that she was missing one of her, her little learners. So she called my house and my mother knew to look under the bed and found me there. Uh, fortunately, my mother took me to the class the next day and stayed with me and helped me settle in and everything was fine after that. I guess you could say that's the very first time that I skipped out of school. But I'm looking forward to meeting you all and hopefully you won't be skipping out of any of our classes this semester. And I'm looking forward to meeting you all this coming week.